Hi, I'm Lisa from Gem Pages. Today I'm going to show you how to create a collection page. Gem Pages has lots of ready-made templates for collection pages, but you can always create your own version to apply to different collections. Let's learn how to create a collection page template from scratch. First things first, you need to set up your collection. From your Shopify admin, go to Products, then Collection. Click on Create Collection. Input a title and description for the collection. In the Collection Type section, choose Manual. Hit Save as you finish. In the Products section, you can browse and add products to your collection. In the Collection Image section, Upload your collection image. Skip this step if you want to use the default template banner for this collection. Hit Save as you finish. Next, head to the Gem Pages dashboard. From here, click the Create New Page button, then choose Collection Page. Or on the sidebar, hover over the Collection Pages button then click the plus icon. Or click the Collection Pages button, then from here, click Create New Template. The Collection Page template will appear. Name the template as you wish. As you can see, there are five elements. Collection Banner, Collection Title, Collection Toolbar, Product List, and Paginator. Let's start with the Collection Banner. Click here to replace the banner image. This is the default image for all the collections which don't have the collection image. The collection title is the same as your previous settings in the Shopify admin. Now, let's take a look at the product list element. First, at the collection section, click on Pick a collection to preview all elements. At the dynamics section, make sure you have this option turned on. This will allow your collection page to display the right data following the URL. Next, you can choose the number of products per row and per page. You can use our Global Styles feature to design the whole template easier and faster. Check out our Global Styles video to learn more about this wonderful feature. Now save, publish, and preview it. This is the template we've just created. Looks good, right? But it's not live yet. If you go to the collection page, you will see the old template is still working. No worries. Now go back to Gem Pages and head to the collection pages list. Hover over the template you've just created. You can assign some collections to this template, or you can make it the default template. We've already included a link in the description below about how to assign collections to a template. Make sure you check it out. Now, I'll set this template as default by clicking on this Meatballs menu and choose Make Default. Your collection page template is now live. And that's it! If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and press the notification bell to stay tuned. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching!